Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I, right now, am in China. If you arrive in China from a different country, no matter what nationality you are, you must quarantine for 14 days in a hotel, and some provinces require more than this. This has not changed my practice at all, besides having to adjust little things here and there. I'm still practicing six hours a day, six days a week, and I'm enjoying all of my time here. Obviously, if you know me, I love to be outside, but right now it's just not possible. I thought it'd be interesting to show you what do I do in the hotel, what things do I have to change, uh, and I think this can be helpful not only if you're being quarantined, but also if you are traveling in the future, because a lot of people ask me, hey, what can I do if I'm traveling? Uh, you're in a hotel, you're in an unfamiliar environment, uh, maybe you have to make adjustments, so maybe this can give you some good ideas. I'm gonna split this video into two parts. The first part is obviously going to be today's video, uh, and we're gonna be going through what I do during the morning. So from when I wake up until about noon, and then the second part will be from noon until I go to sleep. So you can see a full day uh, within two videos. Today in the morning, you're gonna see some spinal work, locomotion, some object manipulation, and then some stillness practice afterwards. Let me start by showing you around the hotel very quickly. So here we walk in, we have the bathroom to the right, we have some space to put stuff over here. Here's my mask that I had to wear on the plane. Very uncomfortable. Then we have the bed here. Uh, we got a TV. Uh, we got some sofa things. And then if we walk over here, it's still dark. Uh, you can't really see. But um, we have like a little area to sit. And then it's very beautiful outside. I'll probably show you later today or in the PM session of the second part. But uh, overall, it's actually a really nice hotel. I did not expect to have this much space. Now, obviously, I do have to make some changes to the room, the structure, to get all of my training done, but I'm able to do everything. Right now, it is quite early. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I do like to wake up early. I don't typically wake up at 5.30, though. I would normally wake up between 6 and 7. Uh, I am jet-lagged, uh, for sure. I'm going to bed at around 8 p.m. and waking, around, waking up around 4, 4.35. This is day five in the hotel, so I have about 10 more days, nine more days of quarantine, and then I'll be able to at least uh, leave the hotel, if nothing more. One area that I really like about this hotel is this over here. This full-length mirror. Now, if you know, a mirror is an excellent tool that can give you immediate feedback for whatever you're doing. So every morning I use this for spinal work so I can see feedback immediately. What am I doing wrong? What can I fix directly when I'm doing the work? So let's get into the spinal work. All right, the spinal work took about 15 to 20 minutes. Now we're getting into locomotion. Before I get into locomotion, I have to create some space. So what I'm gonna do is move the entire bed. Before we get into locomotion, I'm gonna warm up the squat and my hands because we're gonna be using that a lot in this low gate locomotion. So in the squat, I usually just start out with giving some small balances, moving around in the squat, making sure I'm comfortable, seeing if there's any aches and pains, and if there is, I'll do specific work there. Then I want to prepare the knee, prepare the lower body in different angles. So I might come forward, make sure I can take the, the knee over the toe. I might come out, make sure I have some rotation outwards, I might come in, make sure I have some rotation inwards, and then the same on the other leg. And I'll work through different positions, slowly warming up the area. It is very, very early. After I've warmed up the squat, I'm gonna warm up my hands. I start very simple, just placing the hands on the ground in different ways, just to slowly start to weight 
weight the hands in different ways, seeing if there's any aches or pains in the wrist, and going through as many different variations with the wrist, orientations with the wrist as possible. And then I'll get into so, some specific prep for the wrist. Uh, in this case, I'm doing something called first knuckle raises. And reverse wrist push-ups, which I have a tutorial on this channel. Wrists are nice and warm. Now I'm gonna get into my locomotion. In my locomotion, what I'm doing is integrating some of the new elements that I've been isolating over the past few weeks. So you're gonna see some more acrobatic, acrobatic elements in today's locomotion. Being in a hotel actually helps increase my quality. With these movements, we wanna be as quiet, landing as quietly as possible. So because there are people, you know, to my left, to my right, below me, above me, I have to be quiet so I don't disturb them, especially this early in the morning. So that gives me an extra stressor to stay extra quiet during this work. So let's get into the locomotion. Now I'm going to put the bed back down so I have a hard surface. I'm just going to put that box part down because I'm going to do a QDR hold and I need a harder surface than the, than the carpet offers. All right, so that's the end of the locomotion part of today, this morning. Now the next thing I have is object manipulation. I'm going to wait just a little bit before I do ob object manipulation. And the reason is, is right now it's about 8 a.m. It's still quite early. And in the object manipulation that I'm doing, it's quite loud. I wanna be a little bit courteous to my neighbors here that might be sleeping. So I'm gonna wait until about 9.30, 10 a.m. And then I'm gonna start that. So I'll see you in about 90 minutes to two hours. During that time, I'm gonna have some breakfast, some eggs, some fruit, and I'm gonna do some work on email and possibly read as well. Right now I'm reading the book Sherlock Holmes and I'm really loving it. I really like the TV show and the movies, so it's, it's interesting to see uh, the, the book now that I've seen those already. I'm just at the beginning, so please don't spoil anything for me. Uh, and I'll see you very soon with object manipulation. All right, it's time to get into some object manipulation. For this past uh, program that I've been doing, I've been working on what's called wall boxing, uh, tennis ball wall boxing. This is something that I have worked in the past and I got up to uh, 200 plus hits without the uh, tennis ball falling. You can actually find this video on my Instagram. It's, it's a while back, maybe three years ago, so it's a little while back, but I'm revisiting it after having um, you know, two, three years of not actually doing it and it's becoming really challenging and there's a lot of new things that I'm learning from it and, and exploring. So it's a very interesting journey. One thing that I'm really grateful for at this hotel is that they have an excellent wall. Uh, I'll show you what it is, where it is. So this is the wall uh, right here. It's directly next to the mirror. And what's great about it is that behind this wall 
is the bathroom to this hotel. So it's not attached to another person's room. So when I hit the, the ball against this, uh, against this wall, it's gonna make a loud noise, but not uh, directly to a wall that someone's living in. So I'm very grateful that I have this big open space that I can use for this work. So let's get into some tennis ball boxing. About 30, 40 minutes later, we are done with the object manipulation. Uh, it went pretty well. I was able to keep good quality for most of the hits on the wall. Um, the maximum I got today was about 55, and that's slowly increasing. And then a goal is get a consistent 100, uh, switching hands about every hit. So now we're gonna move on to our last thing of this morning, which is stillness. I'm just going to be doing a very simple seated meditation. Uh, using a method called box breathing. Now I'm not going to go through this method here because I've gone through it before on this channel. Um, feel free to search through my videos or uh, give it a search. Um, I definitely recommend it for everyone from beginner, intermediate, advanced. It's an excellent way to focus on the breath and um, a good way to quiet that monkey mind. So let's go into stillness. And that ends the stillness practice for the morning. This is pretty much a regular morning in quarantine here in China in the hotel. To be honest, this doesn't really change. My morning practice doesn't really change too much. Beyond, I don't wake up at 4 or 4.30 normally. That's just jet lag. And uh, most of my practice is outside. So I will take all of this and just go outside. I have a bigger space. I have more opportunities to uh, talk with other people and interact with people and that's what I love. So I'm looking forward to that once quarantine is over. And as you can see, uh, this is my view. So I'm also very thankful for the view that I have. Uh, I have trees at least. I can see some green. Um, and we're close to the airport here. So uh, you'll often see airplanes fly by, but it's not too loud, which is nice as well. So I still have my PM practice. Uh, and this is what I'm going to show in part two. Next week I will show you some of my work in the PM. So from noon onward. Uh, you're going to see some strength work, some water quality work, uh, and some rhythm. If you want to see that, remember to subscribe. Please like, share, and comment on this video as it helps to share this content with other people who might be interested in developing a practice of movement. That's the session.